Hello and welcome all my dear students. I welcome all my dear third standard students in the science lecture once again. This is Rohan sir from Madhi English Medium School. My dear students, I hope that you have watched the previous lecture of our science and I also hope that you have sent your homeworks on time to your follow up teachers. Your follow up teachers are keeping a note of the names of the students who are sending the work on the regular basis. So please make sure to the students who are not sending their work regularly try to take out the time and send it regularly. As you know that studies is a part and a parcel of a life you will have to do it anyhow. So please make sure when the teachers are trying their level best to provide you the easiest and the best way of the education you also have to try the same from your end. My dear little champs, I hope you all are good fit and fine you are ready for all new science lecture. Now if you were watching the lectures in the sequence I was uploading you might be knowing what have we done in the previous lecture. And you also might be ready with both the books, your rough book and the textbook. So first of all, I will tell you what are we going to do today. Objectives and question and answers of chapter number 9, this is what we are going to do. And if you remember in the previous lecture also, we have done the objectives which were there on page number 93 of your textbook which is again the same lesson 9. So I hope that you have solved or you have written the answers for the objectives we have done in the previous lecture. The objectives we had done were fill in the blanks and choose the correct option. Other than that also two questions were remaining which we will do it today. We will solve a short fun exercise which is there in the textbook itself and then we will move towards question and answers in which you will have to write just the answers question pdf file will be given to you. So my dear students take out your rough book and textbook I will wait for a while so that you can get ready with all your stuff needed all the stationery needed and then pay attention to the lecture. So take out your books, pencil, sharpener, whatever is needed. I hope my dear students you are ready with your books as already informed in all the lectures I at the end I inform that be ready with your books even in the next science lecture. So I hope that you will not take much time to get ready. Now I am going to display the page 94 of your textbook which is behind the chapter 9 which we have already understood which I have already explained you. So if even you have the textbook you can be ready with page number 94. Those who do not have the textbook by now they will have to write only the answers in the proper sequence giving the proper answer number in their rough book. My dear little champs if you can see on the screen this is what we have done in the previous lecture. Exercises are there in which we have done first question two sub questions that is question one question A and B we have done. So I hope that you too were solving the objectives with me in the previous lecture. And now I hope that you are ready to solve few more objectives in this chapter. So on page number 94 like I said we are going to start solving question 2 very short answer type question that means give one word answer and give two examples for the following. So these are not only easy but very short also. So if you have the textbook you can write it here in your textbook itself. Then you don't have to mess up here and there and find the rough book and nothing. 
if you don't have the textbook you will have to write it down in the rough book because you will need the answers so once you get the answers you will be able to copy it down in your fair book isn't it so for that purpose i'm telling you to write it down in your rough notebook so let's get started i hope you all are ready now you all are set and you will now write the answers so a give one word for the following number 1 the building blocks of the body the building blocks of the body so which organ or which thing is called the building blocks of the body this was there on the very first page of the chapter let me show it to you if you can see this is the first page right so now here where the explanation starts from here it is written that cells are the building blocks of the body so obviously building blocks of the body so the answer will be cells so let let us write the answer cells building blocks of the body cells is the answer please write it down students those who are writing in the rough notebook you will have to write page 94 question 2 question a and then answer 1 this way you will have to write properly also please do not forget to write today's date for those who are writing in the textbook on the top of the heading of the exercise please write today's date so whenever you send the photos to your follow up teachers they will take a note on which date you have solved it so the building blocks of the body cells number 2 a living being made up of different organ systems if you know that cells makes the tissues tissues makes the organs organs makes the organ systems organ system different organ system when we collect together it makes the organism so organism is the correct answer i hope that you have written the answers if you have not written i hope that you are at least writing it now so a living being made up of different organ systems organisms you can also write organism in a singular form please make sure do not make any spelling mistake as the answers are written on the screen so there should not be any chance of making a spelling mistake there number 3 the organ that gives orders to the different part of the body different parts of the body so which organ gives the orders to the different part of the body is it hand leg mouth you will say that sir we generally give the order through our mouth no mouth also works with the order of something yes you can say supreme court so supreme court of the body is your brain so with the help of brain other organs work so i hope that you are writing the answers with me the organ that gives the order to the different part of the body brain number 4 thin tubes through which blood flows okay so through which the blood flows it's very easy blood vessels blood vessels so here we have solved give one word answer there were only four questions four answers i hope you have written it properly in your books now coming on to question b those who are writing in the rough notebook specially take care that you are making the note properly for each and every answer you are writing the answer number properly b give two examples for the following now for each of these following you have to give two two examples number 
types of muscles now how many types of muscles have you seen in your textbook if you see on page number 89 there are three types of muscles but you have to write only two so the three types are face muscle arm muscle or leg muscle you will have to write any two types so i will write here face and arm you can write two of your choice types of muscles face muscles and arm muscles now there was no space for me to write down the muscles here so i have just written the main answers face muscles and arm muscle i hope that you are also writing see it is not necessary that you will write the two examples i have mentioned here the thing is you can write the examples of your choice but it should be valid it should be correct it should not be the examples out of box number 2 organs of digestive system now if you remember in the summary part every organ was given for every single system so what makes the digestive system obviously mouth food pipe stomach intestines and anus so these five organs are there included in the digestive system consisting digestive system consists of this five organs now you have to write only two of your choice so i will write here any two of my choice so first i will write stomach and then i will write intestines i hope that you two are writing the answers see try to write the correct spelling so that you will have the habit of learning the correct spelling organs the digestive system organs of the digestive system there are five we have written any two because here we are asked to give any two examples only even if you will write five examples it is useless you will get only one or two marks as per the requirement number 3 organs of the respiratory system again if you go back to the page 92 summary part there is clearly written how many organs are there in the respiratory system so respiratory system consists of nose organs like nose lungs and the windpipe you have to write any two so i will write here nose nose is very important and windpipe wind pipe please write the answers whenever you see me typing the answers you also have to start writing the answers especially those who are writing in the rough notebook please make sure you write it properly answer 1 write face comma arm answer 2 stomach comma intestines answer 3 nose comma windpipe this way you will have to write if you are writing in the rough notebook so that you will be able to understand later that these are two examples number 4 organs of the nervous system okay now again go back to summary part so that is the reason why in the previous lecture when i was explaining you and discussing summary part i asked you to read it very well carefully because you will get every objective's answer in the summary part so organs of the nervous system so nervous system consists of what brain spinal cord and nerves so i'll write here so it is spinal cord first i will write spinal cord and then i'll write nerves 
I hope that you too have written the answers spinal cord and nerves. So, this way we have solved all four questions of give two examples of the following. So, I hope that you too have written the answers for all these and later when I ask you, when I text you in your WhatsApp group that students, you have to write all the objectives in the fair book, start writing it in completing your fair book. So, with this our objective ends here. Now, let us move towards the question and answers in which you will only have to write the answers. So, my dear students, here are the question and answers. I will display the question and answer one by one so that you will be able to read and write it very clearly and properly. So, let us read question 1. Question 1. What are cells? Answer. Cells are the building blocks of the body. So, please write the answer students. You do not have to write the questions, you will get it into the PDF file, but the answers you will have to write from this lecture only. So, what are cells? Please write the answers. Cells are the building blocks of the body. Keep writing the answers. Now, if you remember students, even in the objective, the question was asked in one word, give one word answer that the building block of the body is dashed. So, we wrote cells as it was there on the second page itself. So, this is what the things are if you remember even few topics you will be able to answer objective and subjective both the questions. Okay. I will repeat the answer one last time and I hope that by then you will have finished writing the answer. What are cells? Cells are the building blocks of the body. Full stop. Okay. Now, let me display another question and answer. My dear students, please pay attention here. Question 2. What is the tissue made up of? Answer. A tissue is made up of many similar cells. That is it. So, please write the answer, answer number 2. This way you can write it properly in your books. Later when you get the questions, you can write question and answer both in your fair book. I will read and explain it to you again and till then I hope that you will finish writing this. Now, what is tissue made up of? It is made up of similar cells. Now, again if you remember that ascending order, cells becomes the tissues, tissues becomes the organs. So, this way. So, when many cells come together, when many similar cells come together in a group, it forms a tissue. So, this is the second step of that ascending order. So, this way if you understand the chapter, you will be able to answer it no matter how hard the question is. So, I hope that you are writing the answer properly. Please even check your spellings, tissue spellings, many of you are making the mistakes in writing the spelling of tissue as well. A tissue is made up of many similar cells. I hope that you have written the answer by now. So, my dear students, another question is, how does reproductive system help us? Answer, reproductive system helps in producing young ones. So, please write the answer students, answer number 3. Make sure after writing each answer, you will have to leave one one line so that your presentation, your work looks tidy. How does reproductive system helps us? So, it helps us in producing the young ones. So, the process of producing the young ones of the same kind is known as reproduction system, in which reproductive system helps us. I hope you are writing the answers. Please make sure the spelling of reproductive young should be correct. Many of you are writing Y O N G young. No, it is Y O U N G young. So, these mistakes I have seen students making the ceiling mistakes. Once again, I am repeating. 
reproductive system helps in producing the young ones. So, I hope that you have written this answer. Okay, now question number 4. So, this is the last question and the answer. Question 4. Which system cleans our body by throwing out body waste? Please write the answer students quickly. Answer. The excretory system cleans our body by throwing out body waste. So, I hope that you are writing the answer, you have started writing the answer. So, when the excretory system throws out the waste, our body remains clean. Like when you sweep the house, you clean the house, you throw out the waste thing. So, our body remains clean. This is the work excretory system does in our body. It cleans and throws the waste out so that body from inside remains clean. The excretory system cleans our body by throwing out body waste. So, the main thing you will have to remember is excretory system in the spelling as well. Okay, so this is the end of question and the answer. Now, let us solve one last and interesting fun thing in which you do not have to do anything. Yes, if you have the textbook, take out page number 94 or else you can fold your hands and sit and enjoy. Now, let us recall the chapter. Recall and complete the concept map given below. An organism or a living being is made up of cells. So, cells converts into what? Please try to find the answer. Obviously, it converts into tissues. So, T is already given. Tissues. So, T I W -S, S U E S, tissues. Then, tissues converts into obviously organs. So, please write the answers with me if you are having the textbook O, R, G, A and S. Now, students, organs together makes what? Quickly think about the answer. I will give you 4 seconds to think about the answer and I will literally I am going to count 4 and I hope by then you will think about the answer. One. 2, 3 and 4. So, organs together makes the organ system. So, here I will write R G A N because O is already given. So, O R G A N organs, the organ then system. So, S is already given S Y S T E M systems. So, I hope that you are also writing if you have the textbook. Now, 8 important organ systems in our body. Quickly think about it. So, let me just draw your attention towards here. Now, here is the introduction of the organ systems. Here are the names written. Skeletal system, muscular system, then digestive system, then respiratory system, nervous system, circulatory system, then excretory system and reproductive system. So, these are the 8 names of the 8 different system in our body. So, your work is to write down the names of these systems, 8 important system in these box. See, 8 boxes are given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, you will have to fill up this much part of your textbook and you will have to send it to me personally in my WhatsApp number with your name, roll number, standard properly. 
So, my dear students, this exercise you do not have to write in your fair book, this you have to only complete it in your textbook and yes, now the students those who do not have the textbook they will ask sir what do we do. So, students if you do not have textbook you can watch this video lecture again in the YouTube, you can pause the video and you can write the question as well as the answer in the way it is written. But you will have to send it to your follow up teachers so that only when you send the work will we be able to understand that you are doing the work regularly. So, with this our today's learning session is over. Thank you all my dear students for watching this lecture, for cooperating and following all the instructions given here. My dear students, I am waiting since a while time from uh, for a new thoughts from your side. So, if you will send me the thoughts or anything, any information or anything prepared by you, I can display it in the lecture, I can display your name also. So, keep sending me new new things, new thoughts and even if you are doing the homework regularly with a good writing, good presentation, I can even display that, you never know. So, keep doing the hard work, keep sending your work to the follow up teachers and to me. Have a nice day. Goodbye.